how to add clock widgets on your desktop screen hi guys let's get started immediately now the first thing you want to do is to go to any browser of your choice for today i'll be using my chrome now you want to go to the search bar on your chrome and type in rain meter now you are going to be tapping on the first option which says rain meter desktop customization tools and you want to go ahead and download this tool now you want to go ahead and install this particular application that you just downloaded so i'm going to go to the file location and then continue the installation process from there just as how you would normally install any application you download on your pc now get into your chrome search bar again and type elegant clock now tap on the first option that you see now if you run through this website you would notice there are a whole lot of themes for clock you can use but i will be using the first one now i'll tap on download and download this particular elegant clock then i'll go ahead and install it just like we did for the rain meter now you will encounter this but don't panic it's because of what you just downloaded you want to right click and then click on unload skin and this will be gone now you want to do that for the rest of them to remove them now you want to go down to show hidden files and tap on it and then you are going to be tapping on the rain meter you just downloaded. Now you can also search for it using the search bar but I just find this shorter. Now you would notice that you find where you see elegant clock and if you tap on it you would notice that it has both the light clock and the dark clock. Now you can choose whichever one that you prefer either the dark or the light you just need to tap on it and click on load and as you can see this is the dark. Feel free to adjust the position to wherever you would like and if you want the light you just need to click on load and as you can see this is what it looks like and guys this is exactly how to add clock widgets on your desktop now if you found this video helpful you want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this youtube channel for more useful tutorials like this now i will see you in my next video bye